Hello everyone, today we will do a Kruskal Wallace test. Uh, the Kruskal Wallace test is a non parametric alternative for the one way ANOVA. So, if you're dealing with uh, non normally distributed data. So, first of all, let's look at an example. Five years ago, we, uh, we've been capturing a lot of lizards of three different species. Um, so, the first species is the wall lizard, the second is the viviparous lizard, and the third species is the snake eyed lizard. So, each time we captured an individual lizard, we um, we measured the length of the lizard from the tip of the snout until uh, the end of the tail and then we noted down the lengths and the question that we had was whether there was a difference in length between the three species so if one or two of the species can be considered larger or smaller than the other species um, so first before you do uh, a crystal wallace test of course you have to check your assumptions so the first assumption is that all samples have to be independent. So that means that you cannot resample the same individual. You have to capture different individuals each time. Um, and also you need more than two independent categorical groups. In this case, the groups are our species. So we have three species, three is more than two. So this is enough. So we have more than two groups. Um, very important is that um, you have to tell R that your groups are actually factors. But first of all, let's attach the data and let's take a look at the data set. It always helps you understand um, what you're dealing with. So this is our data. Um, so here we have group. So these are our three species, species one, species two, and species three. And then here we have the lengths of the different individuals that we've captured, lengths in centimeters for each of these individuals of these three groups. So if we go back and we go back to the first assumption, First, we have to tell R that these groups, one to three, are actually factors. They're not numbers. We don't want R to treat this column as numbers. So we say uh, that the, the column group is actually a factor. And then we can label this group. Uh, so we have one, two, and three, and we can give the, the correct labels. So we know that species one is wall lizard, species two is viviparous lizard, and species three is snake eyed lizard. So we run this code. Uh, for the record, you can give it any label you want, uh, just um, in this case, we're just going to look at the species. If you want to check if R has done this correctly, you can run this code and then look down below what you have to see is factor. So what this says is that our uh, group is now considered to be a factor and not a numerical variable. This is very important. Then the second assumption before we do the cross call Wallace test is that we have to be sure that um, our dependent variable is a continuous variable. Now in our case, this is true um, because centimeters length is continuous. Uh, so it's not a category or whatever. So this is okay. And then third assumption is not really an assumption because um, if you want to do, for example, a one-way ANOVA, we would need to have a normal distribution of each individual group. Now for a Kruskal Wallace test, you don't have to check normality. Normality of the groups is not required for a Kruskal Wallace test. Nonetheless, you can look at it if you want to, if you're interested to see whether or not you have normal distributions. So for that, you can just subset your groups, um, one, two, and three. We do that first. And for example, we can take a look at the normal quantile plots of the first group of the wall lizard. And if you look at the graph, we see that, well, uh, it seems that uh, it's not normally distributed group because we have quite some weird patterns, um, weird fluctuations. This is not what you want to see. What you want to see ideally, uh, if you're looking for normal distributions, is that all these dots are more or less on this line. This is absolutely not the case. So we're, we d the first group already doesn't have a normal distribution. So for, a group, for the Kruskal Wallace test, this is actually not a problem. So let's just skip this um, and move to the last assumption. And this assumption is very important and it's something that's almost always forgotten by researchers. But you cannot run a Kruskal Wallace test um, if the variances of the groups are not equal. So we have to check for homogeneity of variances. We can do that with the Bartlett test. Um, so we just look at length of all individuals versus the groups. We define our data set. We run this. And then what we see is that the p-value here down below, the p-value is larger than 0 0.05, which means that uh, the variances are equal. 
Um, if it's smaller than 0.05, we are dealing with unequal variances. And then in that case, we wouldn't be able to do or to run the cross wallis test. But in this case, we're fine. So the fourth assumption has been met. So now we can move on to the actual Kruskal Wallace test, which is actually very simple code. Just type Kruskal.test, then we look at length versus group, we define our data, we run this, and then what we see down below, this is actually a, a, a chi-squared test that you're running um, with two degrees of freedom. This is three groups minus one, which is two. And then we have the p-value, which is much smaller than 0.05, so uh, we can reject the null hypothesis and we can say that there is a difference in length in at least one of the of the species. Of course, at this point, we don't know yet which species is smaller or larger than the other species. We don't know. We don't get this information from the Kruskal Wallace test. For that, we have to do a postdoc test. Um, for a one-way ANOVA, you would usually do, for example, the, the Tukey test. Now, in this case, we don't use that test. In this case, we do the Dunn test for multiple comparisons. So we can correct this test for multiple comparisons uh, with the Bonferroni correction. To run this test, you need a, a package called FSA. If you don't have it, you can run this code to install the package. If you already have it, just call the package from the library, uh, then enter this code and run it. So we look at the done test length versus group with the Bonferroni correction. And if you look down below, this is what we get. So what we see in the first line, this is a comparison between wall lizard and viviparous lizard. What we see is that the p-values, both unadjusted and adjusted, are much smaller than 0.05. So this means that there's a difference in size between the wall lizard and the viviparous lizard. So one of the two is bigger than the other. But if, if we look at um, the comparison wall lizard versus snake eyed lizard or viviparous lizard versus snake eyed lizard, we look at the p-values, they're all larger than 0.05, so there's not a significant difference in length. So only in our data set, we can only say that the wall lizard is different in length than the viviparous lizard. Now we can also um, visualize these data. For that you need the ggplot package. If you don't have it, again you can install it with this code. Then uh, we call the library and then this is the code, uh, the ggplot code to look at the box plots or to get the box plots. So you just define what's on the x-axis, y-axis, it's actually quite simple code. Uh, so if you look at the graph, what we see here on the y-axis is the length in centimeters. And then here down below on the x-axis, we have our three species, wall lizard, viviparous lizard, and snake eyed lizard uh, with our corresponding lengths. What we know from the postdoc test, from the Dunn's test, is that the wall lizard is significantly larger than the viviparous lizard. And this is also what we see more or less from these box plots. And the snake eyed lizard is probably somewhere in between because it's not bigger than the viviparous and it's not significantly smaller than the wall lizard. Uh, so it's pretty much the same as the other two. So this was the uh, Crusco Wallace test. If you want to access the code and the R script, just click on the link down below. Bye bye.